these homes that we're in now, yes, I sold one. The um, pandemic was a wild ride for Sacramento's housing market. When they went up originally in 2018, just before the pandemic, they were running anywhere from the high threes to the low fours. Okay. This one sold for $7.45. Because we were all able to work from home, the pandemic brought the ability to live anywhere, as well as the demand for more space. And with that came competition. It felt like a piranha feeding frenzy. A frenzy that appraiser and housing analyst Ryan Lundquist describes as the most aggressive housing market he's ever seen. Yeah, it's, I think it's something that was unexpected and where the market went way above where it naturally would have. Normally, he says, the market rises for about eight years and then goes back down. We were to that point and then a global pandemic happens. Lots of people are thinking the market's going to go down or there were all these predictions and then it did something that I think nobody expected. It exploded. Where we saw, you know, exponential growth, you know, prices up almost $200,000 within um, two years. That's that's really steep. With wildly low interest rates, houses in the Sacramento and surrounding region were selling like hotcakes. As soon as mortgage rates went below 3%, it was like a steroid was injected into the market. In fact, while the market steadily grew for nine years before the pandemic, it was nothing compared to the growth between March 2020 and May 2022. During those two short years, the median price of a home increased in our region by 42%, Lundquist says. It was really about targeting higher priced homes. Many use their equity, selling to buy bigger and newer elsewhere, like from the Bay to Sacramento. And also, I think people focusing more on Placer County and El Dorado County, where homes are larger. In fact, statistics show throughout our region, Placer County had the most newly constructed homes for six months straight. But things are changing again. We've basically seen the largest increase, the sharpest increase in mortgage rates in the past 40 years, you know, over the past few months. In 2020 and 2021, 30 year fixed interest rates were here below 3%. But in 2022, they spiked all the way up to over 7%. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to almost daily change like that. That was that was a okay. So how how do I keep my clients calm? Today they sit around 6%, which means interest rates are still double from where they stood during the pandemic. It's completely changed the market. And so, you know, earlier in the year, we were reporting really aggressive housing stats massive demand, and then mortgage rates said, hold my beer, and we're in this market where um, I think, you know, the honeymoon is over. Over thanks to the Fed and the increase in interest rates to try and control the nation's inflation. I've just been telling people it's time to believe that the Fed is very serious when they want to see spending decrease to get inflation under control. And when you, you know, tar it's like they're targeting housing as the sacrificial lamb on the altar. Some experts say the Fed's plan may be working, with the U.S. Bureau of Labor reporting the consumer price index, a measure of changes in prices over time, rose less in December than November. But with continued high housing interest rates, buyers simply just cannot afford what they could during the pandemic. I started in March with one client where her buying power was 460000 and now her buying power is three seventy five. Brian Ensminger felt this firsthand. We were pretty close to should we continue to rent. Um, we were seeing interest rates kind of come up and up. Um, the availability was going down. They were on the hunt for a home to start their family. I would say, uh, you know, we, we toured uh, north of 20 and probably bit of, put a bit in on um, uh, close to 10. His agent, Alyssa Mazoy, guided him through the process. One thing that I advise my client is that let's focus on a, a monthly payment. What can you afford in the area that you want to be in? And after a five-month search, they prevailed, making Brian a first-time homeowner just outside Natomas. To be able to go in and get something at the range we wanted, 
um, with the ability to do what we want, really a perfect fit. For that to happen, I think it shows that it's becoming a buyer's market. High interest rates and a fall in the average price of a home has changed the tune for those selling. It's hard for sellers to respond, and I, I think that sellers were in the driving driver's seat. They had nothing but glowing headlines for years. They're used to buyers who are offering over asking price, waiving all the contingencies, and really saying that, you know, I'm, uh, you know, where sellers would be in control. But today, buyers like Brian appear to be in the driver's seat. We were able to buy a home at the time in the place that fed our criteria. I think that's the best we could ask for. I think buyers are in a place where they're, you know, eyeing prices, and it's just just more difficult to afford, so they have um, you know time on their side, you know, hands down. Realtors across our region are seeing this firsthand. Now it's going to take a little longer. Now, on average, we're seeing 60 days. An astonishing comparison to how fast homes sold during the pandemic. Pandemic was a week. Specifically, Lundquist data shows half of all sales in 2021 took seven days or even less to sell. But that doesn't mean our market is easy for those looking to buy a home. Some people look at 7% today and say, stop your whining because I bought my first house in 1982 at 16%, right? The problem is in 1982, that house was $53,000. And so it's a totally different ball game today. That's why he says there's a 40% decline of those looking to buy a house within Sacramento's housing market. But come springtime, the housing market always heats up. I think that's a, a spring thing too. Well, wow, we're having another child. <laughs> <laughs> and as mortgage rates and housing prices trickle downwards, many are hopeful more buyers will come to the market. But you never know. My crystal ball broke so long ago. It has duct tape all over it. And, you know, I, I just let's remember that I don't think anyone really predicted the pandemic market that happened. No matter the market, there is always people needing to move. People getting divorced, people getting married, people needing a bigger house. And realtors remain in the middle, helping both buyers and sellers, all while riding out our wild housing market. Let's not look back to say the during COVID is that's the normal market. That's not. The life happens, you want to move, let's make it happen. Take one buyer or that one seller and get excited with them about what you're changing their life.